and he needed it too because once he came in contact with the uh, gladiator, got knocked down on the ground and came within one hit point of losing his uh, life. So, and actually we had an NPC who's who's down, and we need to, we're still rolling death saves for the NPC. This mm -hmm. brings up an interesting question. So, do you level up NPCs? I, it's weird. So in fifth edition, and we'll we'll see with this new DMG. But the way I understand it, there's still night not there's not retainers in this edition. So in in old school essentials, absolutely, because those were like essentially their player characters in waiting because someone's going to die, right? So if I thought, oh uh, that, yeah, that, that's pr that's pretty much what it is. So they yeah. sh they get it, and when you're doing you're not doing milestone you're doing xp or gold for xp however you're doing it they are taking experience away from the main characters they get right. a share usually they'll they'll get the half share or a third share you can negotiate in old school essentials other systems it operates differently um but here in this i thought about it because he's been with you guys for a long time mm -hmm. um but I do, it's a little more maybe gamey than narrative, but I do like the idea of you like outgrowing his usefulness. Mm, I agree. Um, yeah. Because least... otherwise, like if I treat it like a player character, then like one, it's adding complexity on top of complexity. So now you're running two, and like you're running them more than half of the time. So now you're running two characters. Yeah. That feels fundamentally imbalanced for the rest of the table. Like how yep. can how, how come you get two characters yeah but also your turn takes much longer you're thinking about much because like we forget about them yes often yes. um because we've been handing them off situationally so it's not always clear who goes whose turn he goes on right because he had a swim speed so in the last session uh we handed him off to uh mike whose druid had uh, a wild shape that had a swim speed so those two were together accomplishing uh the you know, you know the goal of the mission getting the treasure box so yeah, I actually was rooting for him to go down because yeah. then I don't have to deal with it and uh, <laughs> I don't have to deal with that character anymore. So I do understand like as a player, I'm like kind of like, OK, his time is he served his purpose. But um, yeah, but narratively, I just thought it was interesting, like how you thought about that, because I thought, well, this guy's been around for a while. He should be able to level up at some point. And he's only got an armor class of 12 should we we should have bought him some armor or something i don't know you know like we could have done that so <laughs> that i that i allow that yeah i will allow you to outfit uh an npc but i now it's really getting complicated because now you're like you know now he's, he is a player character you know because now you're buying stuff for him and right you know, well he's yeah. he's siphoned off a lot of gold you guys have paid yeah. him quite well yeah because he got he he got a share like on that first mission and that was four missions ago and you guys have had some pretty pretty good paydays um he came in handy in that first